look at the tall one Staring at the ceiling Look at the small one Feeling all the pain Look at the fast one Screaming and a real Alright now, I don't have to keep asking Tommy what the screen is saying because I can see it right there the Go free working with the iPad I'm just looking right back here and looking at the fish finder between that and the bait we're looking for by flipping on the surface, we're going to get bait really easy here. Oh, there's like a big shoal right beneath us. You know what? Did you, did you get him? Oh, nice. These are the live ones we need right here. We can snag the rest for chunking. These are the live ones we need. All right, we're looking for a place to, to start striper fishing. I'm gonna show you what we're looking for. We're looking for shallow water, close to deep water. You can catch these fish in three feet of water as long as there's deep water nearby. You can see that's all bunker. That's all bunker. That's all about eight to 12 inch menhaden. You see it on the structure scan left and right. And we're looking for an anomaly here, some kind of hump, a ridge, anything that breaks up into shallow water. Nice 17 feet of water. So we know we got some deep water here. There's a channel not far. It's got 35 feet in it. And there's a hump right here. That is all bait. That is all bunker. You're going to start to see it come up right here. coming up to about 10 feet and what we'll do is we'll drop the front anchor right on that hump and the rear anchor is going to go into deeper water so that's what we look for see Tommy's getting the anchor ready Make a run for the morning wall. I've seen this tactic before. <laughs> and so Mike pulls out his big boy pants and starts leaving. <laughs> we'll go right over it. I don't want to pull the boat again. I only get one of those a week. Uh, it's, we'll crack the boot. Uh, you got a pressure perfect. on him. Perfect! Oh yeah, you do. Look at this guy. He's walking him down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's oh, it. Called walking the dog. Right walking her down. Walking her down. Nice. Oh. Now he's going back the other way. I take people oh, out. Oh, Tommy over there clearing the uh, fourth side for uh -huh. the kid coaches. I like, I like. <laughs> oh, <laughs> did you see that tail? <laughs> Let's All see right. if we can see it again. That's right. No hurry. No hurry, boy. <laughs> That's a tail there, son. Oh. I think I saw a stripe on him too. A striper too? Yeah, let's bring the Tommy Oh yeah. Let's see what he looks like. Oh yeah. Man, getting ow, better. Ow, ow. Getting better. <laughs> there we go. Mikey Boom. Smash Team Old School. Thanks for the pick, boys. This Sim Red machine. They're all in a slick. It's coming up under the chum. It's the chum. The machine showing it. Oh, I thought you were going to be a purist. <laughs> oh. No. 
No, you know, you know more about shenanigans on Giggle Cheese. <laughs> right now oh. we'd be calling this a nice 40 pounder, although it looks like a 12 pounder. Nice. No, that's, that's probably. I bet you that's 18, a 20 pounder. 18, 18 to 20, 20 pounds. pounds. Yeah. yeah. Let's find out. Getting there bigger. Go. Getting bigger. Getting there. We're getting there. Like brick, look at look at filled it with brick dust. There, oh stop, 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 stop. Fish on, big fish. Yeah, that's big, big Thank fish. You. I don't know, under you. Yeah, oh. uh, it's an anomaly, like bloop, like a uh, big brick. <laughs> All right, I learned something new today. Uh oh, he's getting ready to go. I'll leave a clicker on so you can hear. I learned something new today from Mark Gary. He like it, he like oh, it. Oh, he just made a big hard turn. Let's hope he's the best. Oh. I'm leaving the clicker so you guys can hear him run, not because I like hearing clickers. But an accurate clicker is music. Want to get a good look and see. Big bass. Yes. Awesome. There we go. Oh, All right. This Mark is the first Bunker. time I've hooked the bait Mark Gary style. With the oh. heart the heart of the bunker exposed. And why do you do that, Mike? Why is it? I don't know, Mark, you tell me. Well, it's because let me come over to Mikey. I know it works. The reason we do that is because and that's a nice oh. bass. The heart will never come off the bob. It'll blow out the stomach when you have put the body bait out. Oh that it likes. Oh. It usually blows out in the uh, current. Body bait will blow up, and if you take it out of the heart, you stick your finger and rip out the heart in the body of the uh, flump, flounder, <laughs> out of the bunker. <laughs> and we'll put you. it on one of the bobs. We'll, we'll show you. We'll show you a little you. technique how we bait these things up. Well, well Mike is fighting this guy right now. Oh. We don't have any obstructions right here, so I'm, just, I'm, not, I'm not rushing to get this fish in. Our anchor's way out on the anchored line. These people coming to watch. Yep. We have uh, Kirsten Howell. Got Max. Okay. In springtime, these fish are really, really strong. All right, Tony. Oh, let's see if I can get his head this way. Oh, nice fish, Mikey. Here you go. <laughs> Good job, brother. There you go. Not real long, but. Good fish. Thick fish. Old school. Kid go cheese. Kid go cheese. <laughs> yeah, look at this. Even my hand can fit in there. Hold it up all the time, don't we? Yeah. No, we're using these big treble hooks so they can't swallow it. We're getting too many gut hooks, so. Looking after the fish a little bit. <laughs> Kid go cheese. <laughs> Alright, people out there in Team Old School Land and Kid go cheese land. We're out here chunking. What's this? Great kills, Mike? Yep, yep. Great kills, Staten Island. Just showing you a little technique that we use. Rip the belly, if you got your fish in a fresh belly bait and the fish is dead, just hang on to it. Rip the belly out, you'll see all the innards of the fish. You're gonna take it, you're gonna take that hook. You can either fish treble, circle, or this is a J hook with octopus. Obviously you gotta get that, very important to get that bad boy over there. And you're gonna feel the bait, and you're gonna feel a heart in there. If you can see that heart right there, very hard. It's almost like a hard balloon. You're gonna take that, and you're just gonna put the hook right through that bait. It's called a body bait. All right. This, this way, the bait will not wash out. It's going to have the body bait in there. This is usually the first bait that's going to be hit. Yeah, it's bloody. It's a mess. But this is the best bait, bar none, when it comes to chunking. And that'll stay on through a hard that'll cast. stay on through a hard cast, which is important. You got it? Oh, yeah. We are lit up with bait. Look at these stripers here. Striped bass, striped bass, striped bass. You can see the shadows. More stripers. Yeah, these are spawners, man. These are big ones. Oh! Oh, he's going to the Tell me, is there anything prettier than that? Is he under it? Oh, he's coming over it. Please oh, go over it. Tough. Pull back this way. Pull back this way. Give him the turn. You can do it. Yeah, you can help. do it. He's under it. He can. He's under it, bro. He's under it. He's under it. He's definitely under it. Definitely under it. Yep, yep, yep. The back has a mooring ball, so Mikey just got a, got a long ankle line in the front. That fish swam right under the ankle line. Nice bass. Nice bass. There we go. A little bit here. It's way out in front of us on, on the surface so we can keep our fish underneath the rope. No problem. Steer this fish over here. Nice fish. Tommy, you want to be right there? I'm ready, bro. Bring it on. He's coming. Bring it on. Big mouth. You come around you? No, you got it. I'm going to try to feed him right here. Big mouth. 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 Big mouth.
Pressure on the step, boy. That's it. No hurry. Hook is buried. We got 60 pound leader. Good day out here. Kid Coach Chase hanging out with Team Old School, Tommy and Mike. Got Put me on the fish. Gotta love it. I love the best of both worlds. Oh, man. Here we go. Coming That's in through net. Coming through net. Man, she's great. She's Open hard. that bail. Here's another one. <laughs> she's even still growing. Getting fatter. Very nice. Getting fatter. Woo! Team Old School right there. Boy. 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 Good fish. Pretty. Getting there, baby. Just talking to Mikey about that fish, I was asking him what happens with these fish. They set themselves up, and sure enough, he goes, yeah, they're going to bend the rod over. What happens two seconds later? That fish has ripped this rod, bent it over, and ripped it out of the uh, Smith rod holder. And there she is right there. Tommy's got it. It's funny nice how it happened. Fish. It happened exactly it like happened we exactly like just like said. Perfect. Right in the corner. That they can't swallow those treble hooks. Perfect. They do the work for you, too, you know. If you want a barbecue and fish, a treble hook is a good way to do it. There you go. Here we go, babe. Another one, Team Old School style, Staten Island. I'm just going to show I'm going to show you real quick uh, the <laughs> blood and guts <laughs> all Max all over the boat Max is the all over Max mess we already cut this Come fish on, Max. Look at this <laughs> murder scene I'm used to the blood <laughs> Mark nice. Gary is a retired homicide detective and even this made him squeamish today This is this is a crime scene I gotta get the yellow tape after this uh, fishing expedition. All right, what Tommy's gonna do, he's gonna cut the gill raker here, and this is we bleed our fish out. We don't rip it, we cut it, you know, a nice sharp cut, and as long as you do this when the heart is pumping, you can see the blood just actually squirting right out of this fish. We'll cut both sides, don't cut your fingers. And we just drop them right down there in the, in the drain. See a nice sharp cut. As long as the heart's pumping, I'll just pump all that blood right out in just a few minutes. Kills the fish quickly. Makes the meat taste a little better. If you can make a striper taste better, that's the way to do it. That's what I'm talking about here, right? Backstrap venison. All right, get coaches at the Team old school. <laughs> All right, he went in, the, in that morning, we got him out. All right, we're working for these fish. We're working so hard we had to stop eating our sausage and our yeah, and our deer meat. All right, that morning is still there though. <laughs> he just wants to go to it. All right, Kid Coach, he's coming in with me. Stand by. It's crazy. Nothing to worry about here. Nothing. I hooked up. Oh, oh Kid Coach, we have a we have a situation. Oh, one more time, take two. Kid Coach, oh my gosh, 82 pounds. <laughs> 82 pounds. The max right there is a 170 foot pound dog. That's right. <laughs> He's a grizzly dog. Alright, it's worth the work, baby. Nice job. Nice job. Old school Kid Coke Cheese. Kid I'm going to show you our live rig here, what we use. I've showed it a few times. We're doing it with uh, fluorocarbon here. Nice, Tommy. And we double hook. We got a, a treble hook in the nose. Right there. And we have a very large kale hook or sometimes an octopus here. And you can see the knot. The knot is a snell knot with a long tail on it. We just tie a snell on there. You can see online how to do it, it's real easy. And leave the tail really long and use your treble hook right in the nose. And as long as you hook him backwards like this, you keep tension on his live bait, he'll swim away from your boat. And you can cast him fine, just like that. And right away he's got his thumb on it. He's already putting tension on it. He's not going to freeze pool and you can see he's taking line already. He's on the surface, and as long as you keep, do not put it in freeze pool, ever. Always keep your thumb on it slowly, and you can let them go as far as you want. We usually don't do more than two of these when we're set, because they will cross. But if we can do two, we do it. I'm ready. Got one on the live one. Oh, buttoned up! Sweet. Clear these lines, son? Buttoned up on the live one. He was working with that live one up against those, <laughs> right? That's a giant school of bait. Big bass up on top. Nice. <laughs> oh. What's better? What's well, better than a clicker? Live line? You gotta like the live line. 
you want to walk it back, you can. You got to come on back. Come on back. Yeah. Let's just sit this side of the boat for a while. There he is. Oh yeah. Nice. You see that move? You see that move? He's like a ninja. Like a nin it was basically a ninja move. Always gotta keep pressure on the young lady. Keep pressure back. Let it play. Oh. Let it play. The old Ben Seacrest going that way. See, accurate. A 30 pound mono with a 60 pound fluoro leader. No bluefish around, really. Just a few. So we can use the fluoro. Uh, you got me there? And. Oh, he helped me. This team old school action here. Like these guys on the fish for big time. Woo! Working it? We're definitely working. But shallow we'll water fish. fish. Shallow water fish. All these fish are between 4 feet and 15 feet of water. Gotta love a clicker. Everyone's asking me, why do we need the clickers on? I just love a clicker screaming off. Just love it. I just like a lifeline. Nothing better than a lifeline fun. You guys <laughs> see the rig we're using? A little tandem rig right there. Tommy, no somewhere with a uh, net, I'm assuming. Right. Okay. Come back really. All right, man. I'll try. He's right on the end. Come on now. There he is. That's another one. <laughs> another 20 pounder. Yeah, They're not huge today, but they're fighting. <laughs> Boom. Oh, yeah. Boom. Boom. No more. Smack that thing, smack that thing. Click, click, bite, bite, Max. Bite, bite. Again, shallow water, right? Old school style, shallow water. Spring. Oh. Oh.